What is up guys, welcome to the channel and another episode of Growing a Game Fund. So guys, we ended the last episode on a bit of a mistake. I forgot to deduct what I'd spent from the game fund. So we're actually on minus £4.50. But never fear, because I've sold a few items. I sold another Fred Perry polo shirt for uh, £8 plus postage. I sold uh, the new Super Mario Bros on the Wii for £12 plus postage. And I also sold uh, Hitman HD Trilogy for £8.99 plus postage. Now, I've already sent the stuff off, so I can't show you guys. But that gives us a grand total of this. To add to the game fund for a grand total of this. So we're back in the positive, we're back in the plus, we're back in the profit. But let's get back out here and see if we can find some more stuff to stick on eBay. Let's go. And you're back with the dulcet tones of Brad here. And uh, straight off the bat in this first charity shop, we found Minecraft. This is an easy 10, 8 to £10 flip. Uh, they're £3 a game in this shop, which... It's not too bad, as long as you can find something decent to sell. I had a flick through what was remaining. Uh, this time split has looked interesting, but a box was in pieces once I opened it. And also the disc was in pretty bad nick, so I left it behind. Uh, SSX3, no real value in that. For £3, it's got to have a little bit of value, otherwise it's really not worth picking up. Uh, Guitar Hero. And some other games here. Uh, Skate, no real value in that either, so I didn't bother picking it up. Always check the Wii boxes, uh, always bang on about Wii Fit uh, being that. I'm always checking Wii Fit because there's Wii Sports is usually inside there. But I also check every Wii box just to see if there's a better game than what the box describes. And these uh, PS4 games were actually £4 a piece and it wasn't worth picking up. I think that Madden sells for about £4. Uh, Book of Spells, uh, no worth nothing. Uh, if it's complete, I think it's got a bit of value, but uh, just the game is worth nothing really. Uh, that's me checking the Wii boxes, see if there's anything in there, any gold, any Mario Galaxy or anything, but uh, not this time. And my boy was handing me, uh, I think, uh, Call of Duty, was it? No, Medal of Honor, sorry. Uh, not for resale, but I thought this was really cool. I was in a bookshop, the charity bookshop. This purely sells books, this shop. And uh, these are like the American or the US or North American prints, I believe. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but these uh, for, you know, these are the ones that were released in the North America, different art style than what we got over here. Um, but very cool, I picked them up to add to the collection, just wanted to show you guys because I thought they were really cool. Uh, I popped to Bridge End uh, to check out their charity shops and this YMCA was doing, I think, five DVDs for a pound. There was no games in there. Uh, so I flipped through the DVDs to see if there's anyone with the value and I came across this. Uh, keep an eye out, guys, for these uh, like um re uh, these are uh, like a uh, wrestling DVDs. They definitely hold a bit of value. I was very surprised with how much this one was worth. I had to find another four DVDs then to make it worth it. Uh, I picked up this Taste of Fear, oh, a four or five pound DVD, and then always check the kids sections because kids cartoons and DVDs hold a bit of value. This uh, Sonic Underground, about a six pound uh, DVD. I also picked up uh, this uh, Little Pony, My Little Pony, sorry. This is the original 80s film. Um, I didn't show you me picking it up, but I did pick it up. Stuck it in a collection of all places, but uh, yeah, very cool to see. Uh, I was in this charity shop and they had a brand new sealed Blu-ray of Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. Thought it was worth picking up. I was told in the comments to always pick up sealed stuff because you can normally get a bit more for them than you would uh, like a so just to cut in real quick, guys, we made another sale. We sold Scribble Noughts for £4.25 plus postage. Not a massive sale, but we can add this to the game fund to give us a grand total of this. Let's get back to it. I then popped to one of my favourite places for picking up games. Well, it used to be until they'd started doing this. I'll show you now. They've started pricing the games up individually. I mean, they've got £1, £2, £3 games. They've even got uh, LMA Manager 2007 i think it is and i was told about that in the comments funnily enough but it has a bit of value about seven or eight quid but they had that priced up at a fiver i believe so they're definitely looking these games up now which is a real shame because like i said this is one of my favorite places to find games um real shame yeah there it is anime manager gutted but i did check out the dvds so i have found value in dvds in here 10 for a pound they do picked up all these box sets and then this count Dracula really shocked me but yeah, 10 box sets of DVDs for a pound. That's banging. Um, I also saw this uh, wrestling DVD. Again, wrestling DVDs hold a bit of value. 
So guys, I'm just about to do a Facebook Marketplace pickup. Now I saw this funny picture on Facebook Marketplace, it's a £20 for the lot. It's a big bundle of games. Couldn't really make out what they were. I asked him for more pictures. He said too many games to, to, to count or whatever. So um, we're going to go uh, have a look and see what they are. A uh, £20 for a bundle of games is pretty good. Hopefully there's some hidden gems. So yeah guys, not a bad little pickup. Uh, there's some decent games in there, some 10, 15 pound games. So we'll definitely make our money back and some. Um, we'll break it down properly when we go back to the games room for a recap. So guys, not a bad little hunt this week. We found a ton of stuff to try and sell on eBay. Uh, now, before we get into that, I've actually sold the Minecraft already that I found at the beginning of the week. I've sold that for eight pound plus postage for a grand total of this. To add to the game fund for a grand total of this. Um, I spent 25 pound 50 on all the stuff that we're picking up. So we can take that away from the game fund. Don't know what it's looking like, I'll do the maths in editing. But yeah, let's get into everything. I don't know how quick any of it's going to sell. I'll give you a rough estimate of how much I want to make, the sort of value of all this stuff as we go along. But let's get straight into it. Now the first pickup was these five DVDs for a pound. There were three here, and I bought two randoms for the collection just to make it up, just to get the five for a pound. So let's get into it. Now the first one I found was this Guilty as Charged, this ECW, hardcore ECW, uh, 2001. Now wrestling DVDs hold a bit of value. So I scanned this bad boy, and it's like a £19 DVD for 20 pence. That's really good. It's not bad at all. So yeah, tough for this. I'll probably stick it on for about 15 quid. So yeah, great pickup. In that same deal, I found this Taste of Fear. It's like a £5 DVD. Uh, it's Christopher Lee, like horror. I don't really know much about it. It looks interesting. So yeah, I picked it up. The last one I picked up was this Sonic Underground. It's like a £6 DVD. So yeah, not bad. A little start to the week for a £1 spend. <coughs> The next thing I picked up was this Street Fighter Assassin's Fist uh, Blu-ray. This thing is brand new, never been opened. Uh, for 50 pence, I thought it was worth picking up. Probably sell it for about three or four, maybe five quid. Um, we'll see what we can get for it. But yeah, had to pick it up. Looked very cool. Staying with the DVDs, I went to one of my favourite places for sourcing DVDs. And that is uh, the uh, Clam Samlet Recycle Centre. They do 10 DVDs for a pound and that's box sets whatever so i grabbed literally every box set i could see um we'll go through them quickly so we've got, got godfather here godfather box set so for about six pounds um i'll stick it on ebay for that see if i can get that the next one is oh, another godfather box set that's mad isn't it so yeah two godfather box sets got the back to the future um box set here one two and three that's like four pound four or five pound dvd uh box set so Indiana Jones box set here. Now, I might keep this for myself. I don't know. I love Indiana Jones. Um, it's only worth about four quid. I think it trades in for a pound. So, I don't know what to do with it. I might keep it or I might try and sell it for four or five quid. I don't know. Another film I absolutely love or trilogy is Rambo. Uh, yeah, box set of this. I think it's worth about three or four pound. Um, I had to pick up 10 DVDs after I saw what I saw. So, yeah, great to pick that up. Uh, another one here, another wrestling DVD. This is the best of Raw and SmackDown 2012. Uh, it's all there, really in good condition. The only thing is it doesn't have the slip cover, like the sleeve. There's no barcode on it, so it, it must have had like a sleeve that went over the top. Um, so I might try and sell it, or I don't know what to do with it. Let me let me know in the comments below, guys. Would you try and sell this on eBay for a couple of quid? Uh, let me know. And then the banger of the lot, was, which really surprised me, was this. Count Ducula, the complete collection. Now, I pulled this out. I thought, wow, that's interesting. I used to love this as a kid. Scanned it up. It's like a £35 DVD, man. £35 box set. Some of them are going for like 45 50 quid on eBay. But uh, I might stick it on for about 30 quid because uh, I want to get this stuff out the door. But yeah, come on, guys. Don't sleep on DVDs. £35 DVD right here. Box set for 10 pence. Mad. So, guys, I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace. It's a proper dry, but there's really random. Like a uh, deal came up. It's like £20. A huge stack of games. I could see make out one or two that i know are worth about 10 10 pound each so if 
I thought I'd take a risk on it, see if there was any bangers in there, any hidden gems. It's them sort of funny posts on Facebook that you tend to find hidden stuff in there that people don't know they've got. So I went through them, I picked out what was worth selling on eBay. There's a load of rubbish in here. I'll show you guys now. There's a whole bag here of just like FIFAs and stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> There's a whole bag of FIFAs and crappy stuff that's not worth anything or too scratched or too damaged. I'll probably just try and salvage all the cases and all the stuff that's uh, useful. Um, there's also another bag here, a massive bag here, as you can see, of stuff that I'm going to trade in at CEX. Good God. <laughs> it's a load of stuff here to trade in at CEX. I won't go through it all because it is junky stuff. It's all like a pound, 50p, 60p sort of values. But all combined, we should get a little bit of money in, um, in CEX for all that stuff. Let's go through these sort of interesting ones now. Uh, like I said, I'm going to add up the value. should have a value here already, but I'm going to add all this stuff to it as we go. Uh, the first one is this uh, Sonic Sonic Shadow, sorry. Shadow the Hedgehog. What is it worth? About five, six quid, maybe seven quid. Another Sonic game, Sonic Gems Collection. So it's like a 10, 15 pound game, I think. So yeah, not a bad find with that one. Uh, we've got God of War 3 here, Platinum Edition. It's like an eight pound game. Uh, the Path of Neo, I think about four quid, three or four quid, four or five quid, not sure. This Fable, I think this is only like a two pound game actually. But yeah, I don't know, I have to look this one up again. We've got Need for Speed Underground 2 on the Xbox. Uh, this is the one I could make out in the pictures, the Simpsons Road Race, like a ten pound game I think, ten or twelve pound game. And this one, I don't know why these games hold value but they do. God, I'm dropping everything, man. So this one was a surprise. I don't know why these games hold value, but Bratz Diamonds, Forever Diamonds, like a £15 game. It is incomplete, so I'll probably sell it for like a tenner if I can. We've got Ratchet and Clank. Uh, it's like a £10, £15 game, I think. So yeah, I'll stick it on for a, on the low end, try and get rid of it. We've got Sonic Heroes on the Xbox Classics here. That's like a six, seven pound game, I think. We've got a Rayman 3 with that lenticular artwork again. I don't only think it's worth about three quid. Well, Scooby-Doo uh, Mystery Mayhem, it's like a five or six pound game. Another Raymond 3, uh, Platinum Edition. I don't know whether to stick this in the collection, I don't have it, and it's a pretty sick game. It's uh, 13. And that's it, guys, yeah. So there's a total value of this. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take to sell on eBay. Um, hopefully some of this stuff flies out the door pretty quickly so we can start building that game fund up into the positive and sort of stay in there. But um, we'll have to just wait and see. I'm going to list all this stuff now, try and get it out there. Um, but yeah. Pretty tough with what I found. I think we are in the negative now. I'll do the maths. Uh, the game fund is looking like this. So we have to get it back up there in order to have some money to take to London Gaming Market. But yeah, pretty tough with what I found. If you guys have enjoyed this video, if you guys are enjoying this series, please let me know by smashing that thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe. And as always, be rad, stay rad, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.